You want it? You want, you want it? Want you want some this? You want some this? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have it, bitch. <laughs> Hello! And welcome, or welcome back to Party Trick Astrology. I'm Nina. I'm Shayna. And this is what we love about your sign, mukbang. Breakfast edition! Good morning, you guys! Oh, hello, hello! I have not eaten today. <laughs> I've had one cookie, don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fully vegan breakfast from The Good Good in East Hollywood. We've got chocolate croissant, vegan, <laughs> donut, vegan. This is a, believe, can you believe, this is a side of potatoes. A side. <laughs> it looks like a, that's a, yeah. <laughs> what? I know. <laughs> and what's this? I got an eggplant sandwich thing. It's got gluten-free bread and then they do a gluten-free muffin. So I got, I think it's banana and blueberry, I want to say. Mm. So that's what we got going on over here. We've actually never been here, but I knew that they had gluten-free options and we wanted to do a little bit of a dessert, a different yes. vibe for the last three signs. So in case you didn't know, we already did this series, but we did what we hate about your sign and we did a drunk edition so this time we thought would be much more pleasant for what we love and, and we eat without further ado let's get into this oh my gosh okay. they used the butt of the bread for the bottom that Ooh. feels weird right maybe the gluten-free option is really popular that's so good mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. and what what else is in there there's like a vegan cheese yeah and the cheese is so oh my god this is so good. I'm very messy. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's like melty and gooey and delicious and amazing. Mm. It is really good too. It's very crispy. Mm -hmm. It's like mostly skin. Yeah, I think it's like crispy scalloped mm -hmm. potatoes or something. Okay, no, it, it's scallion potatoes, not scalloped potatoes. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm glad I have you to repeat my nonsense back to me. <laughs> and then whenever I like edit things and I watch it, I'm always like, Oh my god. Oh my god. This is why I need to be scripted. Like, this is why I do the best with a script. Here we are. End of the road. Last stop on the train going anywhere. Yep. That's it. Pisces. Pisces. What we love about Pisces. Mm -hmm. And also, if you haven't heard, we're having a Drag Me sale going on on our website, partytrickastrology.com slash shop. $10 off of Drag Me's. So With an increased stock and more chance to buy. Yeah. Yes. Check that out. That'll be for the month of May. The link will be down below as always. First of all, I will say that this has nothing to do with Pisces, but I took a bite of this muffin for the first time in the Aquarius video, and it's really, really good. <laughs> it has like chocolatey stuff in it, and I didn't know. I thought it was blueberries, but it's chocolate. Uh, Cause I can't hear, I guess, and it's so good. Would recommend. Had to put that out there. It was really good too. I don't know the last time that I ate a chocolate croissant. Yeah, I'm super satisfied with this food. Mm -hmm. it's also, their gluten-free muffin it costs 25 cents less than their regular muffin. Wild. And it's the same size. Anyways, Pisces. Pisces. I do have like a super duper soft spot for Pisces. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but I just think you guys are so, so talented more than anything. And I think that gets so overlooked because y'all have trouble with this world. I understand, right? It's hard, but because of that, you have talents that are so otherworldly. I don't know. It's not necessarily that I want to be a Pisces because y'all, it's a lot. And like, even Neptune might conjunct my son sometimes. I'm like, we got enough. <laughs> How do I explain it? Like, you guys can just get on another fucking level and really have an ability to look within yourself in a way that most people don't and have like this view of life and things in such a different, more peaceful, Zen way. I love Pisces first of all because they are so open. Yeah. Um, when you're speaking from your Pisces energy, it's that part of you that is so open to hear all these things that aren't shut off and yeah. feeling like they need to cut themselves away from anyone's beliefs or opinions or anything, mm -hmm. and who are really willing to listen and engage with you. And that's something that is not so often talked about Pisces in a positive way, is how much Pisces really has to give. Mm. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. How much Pisces is willing to put themselves on the line for a friend and not even think twice about it. And like Shania said also, Pisces is ruled by inspiration. Yes. So you are so artistic and creative and have so many talents to give the, to this world in terms of like storytelling, in terms of art. Yeah. And it's something that you don't even necessarily 
have a grasp on. Yes, it's like it can't. It's not like a concrete talent. Yeah. It's just something that like comes. It's, it's to like God given. And other signs can like try and hone and perfect, or even like try to Imitate. emulate what Pisces has or what Pisces artists do. Other signs or people who don't have Pisces might try to emulate that, and it's just absolutely impossible because it really is a God given gift. Mm -hmm. What you guys have. Yeah. Don't be perturbed by the word God. You know, a universe source, whatever. Yeah. God, for lack of a better word. <laughs> Yeah. given gift. Pisces are able to give so much and they have such this unconditional love and I've seen this in like a lot of Pisces Instagram stories. In fact, I literally just sent one to Nina like yesterday about people that I follow if they have Pisces energy, just how real and authentic they are on their Instagram. Like these are not the people that put up a front. You see them in their best, you see them in their worst and they're always so honest about what they're going through and not only are they aware of what they're going through, but they also use their platform to hide up what other people are going through that's just what they do in real life in general it's like with emotions they're not one way or the other they're like mine are valid yours are valid ours are valid everybody's is valid and there's something so beautiful that they give the same amount of oomph to them and their problems than to other people's problems unconditional love i will see pisces literally be like sick if they don't have somebody to like give their love and affection to and there's just such a giving honest nature in them and i think in this world world now it is really easy to be emotionally unavailable like right. that's a big tagline it's like oh, I'm emotionally unavailable yeah. yeah so that's like a big theme of what we're going through now and that's not an issue that Pisces come on into and because we are in such a shortage of emotion and empathy yeah that has become such a talent that Pisces have mm -hmm. and Pisces you will always find are very into music. No one like doesn't like music, but music is a really big part of a lot of Pisces lives. And they connect to everything so personally. Uh-huh. It's amazing. It's also that feeling of really empathizing with whatever that music is saying. Mm -hmm. And also, Pisces think and feel in a more nebulous way. Yeah. They don't necessarily think in sentences. And so, words can be very impacting, but sounds and the emotions they can get through that can also be really impacting. And that is a true art form, because if you think of like dance or even music, not everyone has a grasp on how to make you feel without words. Mm -hmm. But Pisces can really do that. They can show you better than any other sign. And that's something that I've always loved. I'm like, don't tell me, show me. And even if Pisces is using words, they're still not telling you, they're still showing you. And there's something so beautiful about that. And I think that that translates in a weird way, if this makes sense to the fact of how non-judgmental they are, because they kind of just are like, things are what they are. And I think more than any other sign, and we just said Aquarius is very non-judgmental, but I think more than any sign Pisces truly is because Pisces have been through all states, right? They're going to go to the lowest of the low and to the highest of the high so they can understand what it's like to be on almost any range. So there's just more of an understanding, true, compassionate nature. And even if they haven't been through exactly what you're talking about or what you've been through, they have such just a natural, a natural, what's that word? They just get it. They just, intuition. Intuition. They, they just have natural like intuition to know kind of what, what you need, what she can help you and they're just such a calming lovely presence mm -hmm. most importantly almost i think is that pisces really has everything to do with unconditional love yeah that's that non-judgmental thing so many people can't even understand that they themselves are deserving of love and can be loved and should be loved by themselves but Pisces understands just this golden rule that everyone deserves love, mm -hmm. everyone deserves empathy, and that, what is that quote of holding a grudge or like jealousy or something is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Right. They understand that there is a benefit in forgiveness, mm -hmm. that there is a benefit in loving someone despite their flaws, and forgiveness especially is such a great trait that Pisces can have mm -hmm. where they're not going to be drinking that poison expecting the other person to die. They have this really great live and let live and you know what, 
I know that sometimes I'm not always doing the right thing, so I can expect yes. that other people should be forgiven it's human. because I'm forgiven. Mm -hmm. And if I'm flawed and they're flawed and we're all deserving of love, then forgiveness is reachable, capable. Yeah. yeah, I think there's just such an integrity in the way that they live their life because I was just thinking about like whenever you walk on some sort of like Hollywood Boulevard or some street, you always see all these artists performing on the sidewalk. The fact that it's always art that's on the sidewalk and not like, I made this new phone. Would you like to try out my new technology? It's just that Pisces nature of being like, I'd rather be poor and perform on the street than live some kind of like nasty, not to my morals, to make other people feel mm -hmm. that kind of life. They only will do what they want to do, if that makes sense. Yeah, and Pisces are the ultimate non-materialistic side. Yes. Song. Oh my god, yes. And also, all art is valid to a Pisces. Yes. If it came from your heart and it's honest, then it's valid and they're not going to pick it apart and scrutinize it so much because it doesn't need to be more than, well, did it help you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Did it help you get through something? Was it a tool? Did you enjoy it? Then that's what matters. Did it mean something to, to you? you? Did it mean yeah. something to the person that, was, that created it? And because of this non-materialism that Pisces have, that's all the more help for them not to compromise yeah. their values or not to yeah. compromise their dreams because they're not motivated by anything other than what's in their heart. Mm. If you don't have Pisces, you can't dream. You can't think of the possibilities of what you can do. And so you'd feel so confined to what this world and only what's set out. But Pisces doesn't see those boundaries. Pisces literally invented the think outside the box. Dream as big as you can and like you'll land among the stars or whatever is very Pisces. I think that Aquarius invented think outside the box and Pisces was like, what box? That's so true. <laughs> There's a box. <laughs> I thought we were just all floating out here in a nebulous. That's so true. true. That's universe. so funny. <laughs> I love their fashion sense. Any mm. Pisces has such great fashion sense because they put together stuff that you'd never think they could. They make all their own shit. They find and scavenge and they just have such an eye and whatever Pisces wears, just like, fuck yeah. I fucking stand behind it because they fucking wore it. Who gives a shit? That is what we love about Pisces. Um, and there's so much more as well. Uh, if you want to know more about all the other energies that are in your chart, we now have a full entire playlist of what we love about Pisces all of the signs mm -hmm. and if you want to know about yourself specifically we also offer readings and if you only want to hear the bad stuff <laughs> since we said so much good stuff <laughs> in this video drag me's are ten dollars off for next month's pre-order as a special april fools thing whatever <laughs> promotion what's so funny is our channel is a gemini i think so is yeah. our instagram even i think both oh, wow. of our gemini's and i was like our two sides are like this is why you're so great we love everything and then it's like drag like, yeah, like, like it's one or the other it's either like overwhelmingly positive or overwhelmingly negative we are now done with this mukbang series don't tell but we have some food left over oh my god <laughs> we have no room <laughs> with this series yeah. we're gonna do i think a, a few or something intermittent videos before we start a ser much more serious sit down to the to education the to the point series so yeah you definitely have some other energies in our other videos so check those out we got aries through pisces thank you pisces for being so patient i think this is the most consistent we've ever gotten up a series unless i fuck you up think and... i know for sure well, no, what if something happens with these clips? And Nothing <laughs> will happen. Even so, when have we ever posted every week? Maybe no. what? Not Never. even at the beginning, no. I don't think. No. <laughs> Anyways, this outro has gone on long enough. We hope you enjoyed this series. Yeah. <laughs> Bye! Bye.